Hi, my name is Osman. Uh, some of you may know me as Ozzy. I'm a paramedic working for West Midlands Ambulance Service based out of Stoke-on-Trent. Coronavirus is, as the word tells you, it's a virus. It's a flu-like virus. Um, it's also more aptly known as COVID-19. This, this virus can be transmitted through you coughing, you sneezing onto your hands and then you going and shaking somebody's hand. A lot of people are commonly um, saying that oh, this is, you know, just like normal regular flu or, you know, normal flu kills you. What's so different about this? There's a couple of noticeable differences to mention between the common flu and COVID-19. If a person contracts the normal flu, um, they will end up passing the infection on to 1.3 people, okay? If a person contracts COVID-19, they will pass it on to about three people. So this is three times as much as uh, what a person with normal flu would pass on. In terms of the incubation time, this basically means how long will it take a person with the flu to show symptoms that they have got the flu. So for your normal flu, it takes about one to four days for them to start showing signs and testing positive for the flu. For COVID-19, it takes about 14 days, between one and 14 days. So you could be outside, wandering the streets, on the supermarkets, you know, playing football with your friends, um, whatever social activities you're doing for these whole two week period. And during that period, you may think you're fit and well when actually you are infected. So COVID-19 uh, affects people of various ages. Uh, in particular, it's more severe in those who are over the age of 70 um, and then furthering that those who suffer from chronic illnesses for example uh, any respiratory uh, illnesses like asthma, uh, COPD uh, which encompasses bronchitis and emphysema, um, also chronic um, liver illnesses, uh, chronic kidney conditions um, as well as those who suffer from cancer and are therefore immunosuppressed uh, those who suffer from conditions whereby they're taking immunosuppressive drugs uh, and also those who have conditions such as hepatitis and AIDS um, and as well as uh, those who are pregnant as well, they're at high risk. So um, in terms of the symptoms that you might um, start to feel, uh, a fever and also a new continuous cough. Um, so if you're somebody who suffers regularly from coughing, this would have to be a different type of cough. Okay, so there's a couple of important things to do. If you think you've contracted COVID-19, um, you do not need to ring your doctor. You do not need to ring 111. You do not need to ring your pharmacist. You do not need to go to A&E. You need to self-isolate. If you are employed, obviously inform your employer. Now, if you live alone, self-isolation period is seven days, okay? If you live in a household with anybody else, um, and nobody else is infected, you yourself as the infected individual will self-isolate for seven days. Everybody else in your household will self-isolate for 14 days. There's a couple of preventative measures that you can take, um, one of which is very, very important. Uh, you wash your hands with soap and water often for at least 20 seconds. Preventative measures should be there regardless of whether COVID-19 was amongst us. Paracetamol, regular and often, so every four to six hours a day, take paracetamol if you believe you've got signs of a fever. This graph uh, is about flattening the curve. There's a number of cases in the UK, um, uh, and that is the time elapsed since the first case. This red line signifies the ability of uh, healthcare, in particular the hospitals, to have the capacity to deal with these corona cases. This shows a steep incline. So it basically means that in a short space of time, you've got more cases than this red line can handle. This blue line, however, indicates that over time, you've got just about the right amount of cases for you to deal with. As you can see, it falls below the red line. Now, this is the whole plan behind social distancing. So if we do not restrict our social gatherings, this is going to be the end result, which is more cases, more infected cases, and therefore more seriously infected cases than this red line can safely deal with. If we implement proper social distancing, we will be able to allow our healthcare, our hospitals, to deal with the influx of these COVID-19 cases. Unless we get this graph 
below this particular red line, there is going to be more patients than ITU beds. So spread the message, okay, and not the virus. Flatten the curve.